Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys had a good Saturday. It is now Sunday, or at least about to be Sunday, when a lot of you guys are going to be watching this. Uh, and that means it's technically only day two of Foot Champs, right? Because we had the big time server issues, they extended Foot Champs, and that's kind of, that messes up the market in its own way on the weekends. Um, but I still want to talk through some of those things and what kind of happens in the, in the market when we have those sort of issues. I want to look at some future stars cards today and then talk about one of our favorite things that a lot of people are interested in uh, called the middle icon SBC and how we can actually start to prepare for that and some of the SBCs we might get this week. What a freaking snipe to start off the video on Martinelli. Oh my goodness. That is a snipe and a half right there. 650k. The man is 735k right now. Let's go. What a freaking snipe. We take those. Let's take a screen uh, screen snip of that. And we'll be good right there. Heck yeah, man. GG's. Well, that's one great start to the video right there. 90 rated Martinelli for 650. And I'm actually just going to list it up right now for uh, for some quick profit. GG's. Uh, and boys, I actually wanted to start off the video by making a point about this guy's price right now and talking about it because... Uh, there is a little issue on Footbin right here, which we see. That is Martinelli's price. Look at this. It says he is 680K. Somebody undercut from 745 to 680. And somebody must have been looking at that price or just completely undercut big time when they sold him and listed him up right now at 650. But this is something that when you see this on Footbin, really, really, really take into account um, like what this is. And like this is a great sniping opportunity because. You can look and see like the next ones are at 740, 750. So he's somewhere around 740K, but somebody listed at 680, Footbin caught it. Some people look at Footbin when they list cards and don't try to go find the card themselves. And then you see deals like we just saw right here with Martinelli pop up on the market. Now I'm actually gonna sit here maybe for a couple more searches and see if another one pops up, which 730 doesn't look like. That one didn't pop up any lower, but sometimes you'll sit here for a couple minutes and you'll see something like that happen. And I was lucky enough just now to get one of those snipes. So hopefully we can get that Martinelli to sell at 730. Uh, that would be an incredible sale on that card right there. But I do want to talk more about these Future Stars cards to start off the video because these cards are kind of like at an interesting dynamic right now because these cards are really rare. And why are they rare? Well, first of all, yesterday, or on Friday and Saturday, Saturday we had the normal lightning rounds, we had the 6 p.m., we had the 7 p.m., and we had the 8 p.m. UK lightning rounds, but a lot of them didn't sell out, which is really interesting that a lot of them didn't sell out for these cards. Of course, there's still promo packs in the store, but these cards are really rare because the lightning rounds aren't selling out. That's a huge point to make. And on Friday, we had the server issues, right? So a lot of these cards on Friday, they hit their lowest right away because people were able to open packs in that first lightning round and they were able to be on the game and open up their save weekend league rewards and stuff like that. So like this Jao Felix was actually, he was like 2-4 flat. I saw the cheapest one at 2-4 flat on Friday. He went back up to 2-9. He went back down a little bit overnight to 2-6, kind of went back up to 2-7, down to 2-5, back to 2-7. So he's kind of, this card is fluctuating a lot as people go out and they try it. But again, the main point is that these are really rare. They're, these cards are pretty freaking rare because they're not getting packed that much. Uh, and a lot of you guys want to know when is going to be the best time to buy some of these dudes. And I always try to tell you to wait, right? The cheapest time for some of the headliners, at least in set one, was actually that first day. But we had so much hype built up in that promo and so many saved packs and upgrade packs and stuff that people had saved from the end of team of the year that um, I think that really affected that promo. The cheapest prices for these cards, I think, are, th are still yet to come because of what other content we could be seeing on FIFA the next few days. So if you if there's anybody in this team that you want, um, I would hold off until later this week because I do think there's a chance that these cards will go lower later this week. But again, these again these cards, every time I look at them, I'm pretty pumped with these cards. Are, is it going to make my team? Only if I pack one untradeable, which I'll definitely take my shot at some upgrade packs if we do have those. Um, but... I don't really know if I'm going to just go out and straight up buy one of these cards, at least right now. So um, one thing I want to talk about with these cards as well is we'll still talk about Martinelli. And I'm probably going to be flipping back and forth to Footbin a little bit here. Uh, and this Martinelli is 720, which undercut mine. 
So maybe I should have undercut a little bit more if I wanted the really quick sale, but I got that one at 650. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna sail over 700, but that was that was a really nice snipe because I I think I get a sale tomorrow morning at least at 730 or 740 as well because that is one trend that these guys have been having. We're gonna take a look right now on Flippin again at some of these cards. This is the Saturday price range right here. Saturday morning, this card was at 9 a.m. UK time on Saturday, 730K. People got on the game, started playing weekend league, boom, back up to 794. It gets bought up and then kind of trickles down throughout the rest of the day. He was at 717 one point. So the 680 might not be super duper. Um, so the 680 is not like that, that low or like 745 is not that low. So that's why I tried to just now list it at 720 and get a quick, quick, uh, quick sale on it, which I didn't get. But um, some of these guys rebound overnight pretty well from Friday night into Saturday. Here's another one. Dominguez was 440, back up to 479, 480. Uh, there's a couple other good. Mason Mount wasn't the best of rebounds, but there's a couple other guys in here. Kamara was a really good one for his coin amount. I think he's 210 at least right now. And what did he do last night? He was down to 211 and he bounced right back up to 235. So will this happen again from Saturday night into Sunday? It's harder to say yes to this because usually the weekend league is you're, you're on the tail end of the weekend league for a lot of this stuff. So you don't see as much rebound on a Sunday, but you also have to consider that the weekend league is extended this weekend and that there's probably people that are saving their games for Sunday now instead of just uh, instead of just playing them all on Saturday like maybe they normally would. So, you know, when you're looking at somebody like this, uh, like this Kamara, if you want to see if, if you can get a little overnight flip on him. Um, you want to look at supply again as well. Rarity, basically the same thing as supply. How rare is that card on the market? How many overnight listings are there that will get bought up in the morning? And then um, just how desirable and how usable that card is. These are some big balls flips. Last week we tried it with headliners. Didn't work because of the Ben Yedder SBC, but it worked last night for these guys. Will it work again? I'm a little skeptical. This is a, a really, really risky method if you want to um to try it but i would say if you're going to try this method try to flip these from saturday night into sunday morning if you want to take the risk on that um as people maybe wake up in the uk and start to try these guys out for like a weekend league games or, or for whatever reason uh, if you do want to try to flip some of these overnight i would say uh go after the ones that uh that did well already right so like is this the right dominguez i don't think this is the right dominguez it's not um I would say that it's risky and I'm probably not going to be doing it, but um, if you really want to give it a shot, I guess you could because these cards are really rare. And that's the thing that makes me interested in them for a possible overnight flip is just the fact that they're really rare. So 460 for Dominguez, he's got one page, he's got two pages at 460 and right now he's 440k, right? So if you see this card drop to like 420 or maybe 415 uh, in the 420s maybe, that would be something I'd be, I would be very... I'd be very curious of that price because a lot of times it happens is sometimes, uh, you know, we talked about the cards rebounding from Friday into Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, they usually drop lower on Saturday night and then rise up a little bit less on Sunday, but it's still a flip opportunity if they go low enough. And that's kind of the key. If they go low enough on, on Saturday night into Sunday morning that you have an opportunity to flip some of those cards. So if you're looking at the future stars again, I hope my Martinelli sells. That would be nice. We have a bid at 680 here, so I'm def I'm going to make profit on that card regardless. But 650 snipe felt awesome right away. I really wish I'd get that to sell at 730, though. That would be that would be pretty dope. So if you want to try out flipping some of those cards, you can. But it is a little bit more risky. Uh, but one thing you have going for you is that those cards are very rare. So that's one thing I do want to talk about. Second thing I want to talk about today is um, the team of the week. Because just like these Future Stars cards, they're getting packed as well. Some of these guys in this team of the week, I think, are disgracefully underpriced just at the moment. And I think this Insigne is one of them, man. 144K for this Insigne card. His next best card is the 89 rated, which it, it does have a pretty decent stat boost, especially in the physical, plus 21 physical. And it's a central card. But this is one of the best left wingers in the uh, Serie A. One of the best left wings in the Serie A, just from his straight position and his availability in the game. There's not too many of them in the game that you can buy off the market that are this good. Gets that link to Mertens, who has a headliners card, which is a popular version. You got Napoli links uh, to um, Allen as well. 
So, you know, this guy during lightning rounds, a lot of these guys were cheap. He went to 135. Friday, what did he go to? Was he any cheaper Friday? I doubt it. He was 134. So if you see this guy back in the 130s, that would be a little bit of investment for me. If I had to pick any guys out of the team of the week this week to rise um, as like a usable meta player post team of the week, I would say Goretzka, Pereira, and Insigne. And I think Goretzka and Pereira are going to be the two guys that people focus in on the most. Actually, this Pereira guy on, on PlayStation was 102k. I think you yeah 102 earlier on Saturday so if you see this guy get back down to like 100k that's a that's a big buy in my opinion uh, considering this card was up at 75 at one point for the 84 rated and he's due a winter upgrade so this card should be an 87 after the winter upgrade Goretzka as well I mean some people think this card is in the right price range I think it's too cheap just because Goretzka is uh, again today we got the um, the Davies SBC which we're going to take a look at in a second but uh, this card, he's got a 770,000 coin live item. Then his next best card is 135K. So if you see this guy back under 130, as you can see here is 122, 125. If you see him back under 130 though, then that is a buy. In my opinion on that one, at some point on Sunday, while this team of the week is in packs. One last thing I want to look at, all right? It's actually not the last thing, but I want to talk about this next. That is the cheapest players by rating. And I talked about this at the beginning of, this, of the video, that the mid icon SBC is something that is on our radar as something that could be coming in FIFA ultimate team very, very soon. And I think this is coming soon because they put out all of the icon swap objectives uh, and they are available right now inside of FIFA ultimate team. So that's another reason why I think that it's going to be coming soon. And, um, these cards actually had a chance to get a little bit lower today, which is very, very nice in terms from an investor standpoint. If this is something that you want to invest in, uh, 86s, they're getting into the buyable range of like 16, 14 to 15,000 coins. Uh, 88s, or excuse me, 85s are down right around 8K. 84s and 85s are inflated just a little bit because of the SBCs today. You can tell that the ones that you really need chemistry for, like Ozil is 4.8, Wijnaldum is 4.7, then you have a drop off to the other guys like Moutinho's at 4k I would think he'd be a little bit more but um 85s are up a little bit as well because there were two 84 rated squad squads that were required today for the Alfonso Davies SBC which we'll take a look at that right now really quick at the moment and talk about it 125k for Alfonso Davies um it's basically if you look at this card and we'll look at it in game just now um as I load back into foot because it kicked me out I had to do the capture challenge for a second there but um, I want to look at this new Alfonso Davies card for a second because I think a lot of people are going to end up doing this SBC because there are not many left backs in the Bundesliga and especially as two of them have come now from one from objectives and one from an SBC, this is the one that you can pay for and get and he's got Bayern links. Four star, four star, high, high, looks like a great card for a left back. If you're running a Bundesliga team, you need to throw a shadow on him probably or something to boost his defending. Maybe like a Sentinel? Is the Sentinel the one that boosts physical and defending? Maybe that's the one you throw on him because he's got the pace, but he needs the defending and the physical boost a little bit. His aggression's a little bit low, uh, but he's got the pace and, of course, the Bayern links, right? If you've got Perisic on the left side or if you've got this Goretzka card and you need to find a way to get some links on the left side between a center mid and a left back, um, there's not many center backs that are Bayern that have links this year. You know, we have Lucas Hernandez wants to watch, but Boateng doesn't have special cards. Um, of course, uh, Hummels is at Dortmund and, um, Sule doesn't have any special cards either. So, um, this card right here though, is Bayern links for some of those other, uh, Bayern Munich guys that a lot of people need to get links for. And it's kind of the second best uh, left back in the Bundesliga and it's cool. So, I like that SBC today just because of the player choice and the stats that they boosted him to. So that's kind of cool. But again, that didn't really affect the 86s, the 87s, or the 88s. Wow, 87s, 21K for these is great in my opinion. 88s, if you can get them on bid. Um, watch these card prices tomorrow because, again, in relation to the mid-icon SBC, if that SBC comes out, that's going to, as long as it's not super overpriced, that's going to be really, really detrimental to this market because people, I think people are kind of expecting it now since they released all the swap tokens and uh, just because people have started been able to redeeming their icon swaps through grinding the pack. I actually opened one, opened a couple of them tonight on stream 
uh, when I was live on twitch.tv backslash foot account and link is down below in the description. But I actually opened a couple of them and uh, it was, they were awesome. The first one that I ever opened, I got mid Viera, which was sick. Um, and so I think a lot of people are getting, they're grinding the tokens and getting to that range, which I think is uh, interesting. And uh, that's going to make people want the mid icon SBC once they see what people can pull out of those. So that's a big SBC that is upcoming. So if you want to invest in some of the high rateds, be my guest. I would say go 86 and above though. 86 and above. And if you wanted to maybe try to get some 84s or 85s on bid, go for it. But it's club stock time, right? Not like go go like insane deep on going unassigned with some of the stuff. At least that's what I would say. I would just say it's a club stock kind of time. And that's what I would be doing. Oh man, we have like a bunch of Martinelli's listed up at 720. Let's see if any of those get bought because by the time mine expires, he might be 700K for some undercutting overnight. If that's the case, I'll wait till uh, the morning to sell. But that is, uh, his price has kind of dropped off, which is interesting. So, um, but for the high rated um, we're kind of just looking for that mid icon SBC. And the reason why I want to do it now is when these cards first drop down low is because um, they're going to be continuing to drop SBCs th throughout this week, right? You see, I got a couple 88s, a couple 89s. I have a couple 87s. I actually got a lot of the 87s. And then I have a decent amount of 86s as well, as you'll see in here. Uh, I did a decent club stock today. Not all of them, but just, just a decent amount of them from the 87s and the 86s, a couple 88s. So that's what I would recommend you guys doing just a club stock. Try to get them on bid, win them a few thousand coins lower than their buy now price. And then you're set to go for whatever SBCs they release later this week. You might be able to sell those at an easy profit or do the SBC yourself for cheaper. That's why I love the club stock. So I recommend that right now as well. It's been a long time since we've seen some of these players at viable prices, man. Like Tiago, I bought one today for 21,000 coins. Like this is awesome, dude. He's been like 24, 25K for the longest time because of all these SBCs that have been out. Footbin is lying to me at the moment. It says he's 21K, he is not 21K. Um, what about Fernandinho? I don't think I have a Fernandinho in the club. Can I get a Fernandinho for under 22K? I absolutely can. I absolutely can, 21K. Fabinho for 21.5, I will take that and I will chuck it in the club, GG. So that's another club stock card right there. Of course, I have it as a duplicate. I've already club stocked him. <laughs> so on the transfer list that he goes. So club stocking right now is definitely a good shout. And what that means is again, just buying one, throwing it in the club. I accidentally bought an extra one there. It is what it is. I'll just hold it. But buy one, chuck it in the club, wait for an SBC to come out. That is the club stock definition. Because then you, you keep the, your other coins liquid and you are able to trade with the coins you have left, which is hopefully 900K after I sell Martinelli. So that was a cool snipe to start the video though, at the very least. If you guys enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. That's the market talk video for today, boys. That's really it. I mean, we got more SBC cards today, price movements on the market, and of course that way to invest um, with the high rated golds, which is very nice. It's good to see those, those prices drop down for us. All right, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.